Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. So before I left for my military deployment, I asked you guys in this video for some Ask Me Anything questions, and today I'm gonna be answering all the PC building questions. So let's get into it. Nuclear Trinity says, how did you get into PC building and hardware? My mom and dad actually had a like PC repair slash PC consultant business, and they ran it out of our basement uh, for like the first 10-ish years of my life. So I was naturally just always surrounded by PC and tech and PC hardware and stuff like that. And then my mom actually became a PC instructor. She teaches like Office and some other softwares and stuff like that. And when I was super young, I used to steal like her uh, instruction booklets, like her teaching books. And I would pretend like I was the teacher and I would learn the books and like, I was in like kindergarten and I remember like doing like the college typing courses and stuff like that. So yeah, I just, I've always been around it. So that's definitely how I got into it. Juge, Judge says, have you ever considered mining cryptocurrency yourself? Have you ever considered it with your high-end PC? There's the UPS truck. All these trucks are driving by. Anyway, um, yeah, I've considered it and I've even tried it a little bit. I used like that nice hash. Um, and I was mining with the GTX 1050 Ti for a couple weeks, I would say, and I was earning like a dollar or two. Uh, I actually have a perfect setup. Uh, I have solar panels and we don't pay a like monthly energy bill. So potentially I could make some money off of it, but the hardware is just worth it too much to me. Now, some people say that it doesn't even have an effect on your hardware, but I would disagree. So I, I use like all these graphics cards that I have in my videos and stuff, and I certainly wouldn't want to do it on my main gaming PC because that's literally all I have. And if that, if something happened to that, I would have to immediately replace it. And I, I just don't think there's enough money into it for me, um, just with all the basic pieces of hardware that I have. Oh, one more thing about that that I almost forgot is when I was mining in uh, with the budget card over here, the, this room, the studio was getting way too hot and that was super annoying. I would come in here and uh, whenever the sun is on this side of the house coming into the window, there's a window right here. And then with that uh, computer mining, oh, it would be so hot in here. And I, I just, I think that's the reason why I originally stopped, honestly, just because it was too hot in here. Nuclear Trinity says, would you ever market your skills such as building PCs for people, helping repair, etc.?" That's a really good question. I would 100% be down for like building uh, PCs for people. I really like the concept, which I might actually get into, um, maybe, I'm not sure, is I would love to just build new PCs for people. Like they tell me what they want. I, I gather the parts together and I build it for them and I don't charge them like an arm and a leg for it, just a small labor cost of putting it together and then I can make YouTube videos on it and it's a win-win for me. But I would never create one of those types of businesses that you see all over the place that repair computers and they just go in and like, they restart your computer and install Norton and stuff. I, that, ugh, that frustrates me so much. Or people that uh, sell their service for just like reformatting your windows. Everyone should be able to do that. Like I'd rather just tell somebody how to reformat their windows or how to reload their operating system. And I, I just don't like those businesses. I understand that they have to make money and that's their labor and people do need that. But I mean, with YouTube now, like you can just Google whatever computer problem you're having and eventually people will do that. So yeah, I wouldn't do that type of business, but I definitely want to build new PCs for people. That would be a lot of fun. Ryan Mir says, when did you build your rig and do you have any plans to update any parts? I actually built this entire computer right after I got back from my last deployment. I spent all my free time researching the build like months and months and this is when I was really getting to PC gaming before Zach's Tech Turf even started and I pretty much have the exact same plans after this deployment. I'll be spending a lot of this deployment planning my next build. It's pretty much going to start over from scratch, honestly. I'm still rocking a i7-4790K, which is Intel's fourth generation. Um, 
DDR3 RAM, and, which is one generation old, and then a GTX 980, which is another generation old. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna upgrade. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy a Vega card. I know at the time of recording this, there's a lot of drama surrounding Vega, but I have that uh, 27 inch 1440p 144 hertz monitor, which I reviewed up here and it's free sync, so I need the Vega card or else I would buy Nvidia Volta next. But yeah, it's probably gonna be Ryzen and um, a Vega card, but I don't know, that could change. Eclave Grunt says, he actually, he or she actually asked a lot of questions, so thank you for that. But what was your first PC build? I was definitely way too young uh, to remember what was in my first PC build, but I do specifically remember having a 533 megahertz processor, which probably sounds ancient to some of you, 533 megahertz, not gigahertz, megahertz. And I know some of you are probably like, wow, that's actually super fast compared to when I started. But yeah, I remember having that processor and I remember searching for like used bins at like tech conventions and stuff for a graphics card that had 32 megabytes of VRAM, megabytes. I searched high and low for that. Like, I think at the time there were already graphics cards uh, that had like 128 megabytes of video cards. And I did eventually find one. I think I paid like 10 or 20 bucks for it or something. But yeah, that's as far back as I can remember. Jared Balahekeo. Sorry, dude. Um, what graphics card should be paired with my new Ryzen 3 1200? Hopefully you didn't wait for the answer for this. I should have just probably uh, messaged you the answer, but as of recording this video, now things could change by the time this video goes live, but at the time of recording this, I would just go with a GTX 1050 Ti. And I answer why up in this video here, I have a full explanation that answers your exact question. But basically, just with these crypto mining crisis thing going on and all these prices that are super high right now, I, I would just say wait, get a GTX 1050 Ti because you can get one of those for like 150 bucks and you, that crushes 1080p gaming. And I would just get that and then wait until like something new comes out like Nvidia Volta, um, for example, or for like these prices that go down. It doesn't look like they're coming down anytime soon. They're still super overpriced. But yeah, I'll go with the 1050 Ti. Uh, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that guy's name. This person says, will a GTX 1060 bottleneck an i5-6400? I originally thought I had an answer to this, and then I looked it up online just to make sure I was correct, and then I was second guessing myself, and then after further research, I was third guessing myself. But that's a really good combo. Um, there's definitely a little bit more value in the i5-6500, uh, at least there was, it depends on when you're watching this video. But yeah, uh, you, every single system has a bottleneck. Some people don't realize that. Every single system, the GPU is either gonna outperform the CPU or the CPU is gonna outperform the GPU. They're never gonna be exactly um, at the same level of performance. Now, you wanna try and minimize that bottleneck, but I think that's a good combo that you have there. Um, in CPU intensive games, maybe like Grand Theft Auto or Player Unknown Battlegrounds, your CPU would could potentially be a bottleneck. But then in like uh, graphics card demanding games such as uh, like Doom or I think Forza Horizon 3 or games like that, um, then your graphics card would potentially be the bottleneck. And it's not a big deal. It's a good combo. And finally, 3890Pi, I don't know if that's a name, says, what are your favorite and most useful free software to use? I don't even think I should answer that. I have an entire video of, I think it's called like the top five free software that you might not know about it. I'll have it linked up here. Make sure you go check that one out. Well, that wraps up our PC building, ask me anything questions. I wanna thank you guys again so much for asking so many questions. This really made my life easier because I had so many questions to choose from and then I could create these four videos for you guys during my deployment. Make sure you check out the other videos if you haven't already. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. And please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos. Bam! Um.